Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify this radical expression. And um, it's important to us to understand, you know, the product of two radical expressions. We can uh, rewrite as the square root of the product of our two radicands. Now, first of all, we always want to try to simplify, but notice that we're taking the cube root this time, not the square root. Because a lot of people say, oh, square root, I know the square root of nine. The square root of nine is going to be three. But this is the cube root. What number multiplied by itself three times? So in this case, we're actually just going to have to bite the bullet and multiply our outside numbers and our two radicands. So therefore, I now obtain 20 times the cube root of 54. Now I need, again, to go back and see, all right, can I rewrite this as any of my perfect cube numbers? Well, this is 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 3, 4 times 4 times 4, 5 times 5 times 5. So remember, the cube root is any number multiplied by itself three times. Now, is, there any, is 54 a perfect cube number? No. But do any of my perfect cube numbers, um, can I write, are any of them factors of 54? And you can see 27 is. So therefore, I'll rewrite this as 20. So I'm going to take it like this and rewrite it as the product of two terms to separate it. So that would be the cube root of 27 times 2, which I can now write as 20 times the cube root of 27 times the cube root of 2. Now, I know the cube root of 27 because that is a, a cube, perfect cube number, which would be just the number 3. So 20 times the cube root of 27, which is 3, times the cube root of 2. Well, 20 times 3 is going to be 60 times the cube root of 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your cube, your radical expression with cube roots. Thanks.